Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh. oh. I'm just waving off screen. Oh, like, hey, hello. Hey, this you... is how I wave. Oh, hello. my. What is going on, friends? Welcome to the first of many. 10th anniversary Super Beard Bro streams. I'm the oldest man on YouTube, Alex Fasciani. Next to me here is my good friend. My good lifelong friend. And Dave. technically even older than you. Yeah, he's way older. Actually, you need to put a fucking microphone in front of your face. Oh, fuck. Sorry. You, you, you gotta get that mic nice and, nice and sexy for you. You can, you can manipulate it. Just subject this audience to the, to the, the, the live broadcast experience. Welcome! And me, the worst mic person in the in the biz yeah <laughs> welcome back to the vibe checks if you know you know we used to do vibe checks on instagram all the time we thought that for the 10th anniversary it would be great to bring back those things check in with you guys touch you guys in real life in the chat and uh you know bring on people that have come and been on the channel with us over these last 10 fucking years so this is the first of many 10th anniversary celebrations. We've got many surprises and series and event streams and all kinds of stuff planned. So it's all going down this year. It's like the year of Luigi, except except Different. I'm Luigi. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, today we're making good on a promise that we made. Uh, what do you think? Dude, sorry, I'm just, he, well, you guys don't, you don't understand the level of work Alex put into <laughs> making this, because I don't see the great green. It's, yeah. But man, yeah, we're, we're we're playing this on the on the Super Beard Boy today. That's incredible. Uh, but uh, I really uh, I'm really glad you guys are here. We've never really streamed on uh, YouTube before, uh, so I figured we'd stream direct. This will probably pop up again somewhere else uh, as something else, maybe in a in a different form. But for now, we're here. Way back in 2013 or something like that. Like literally. Is that the last time? I don't think that was the last time you were on the channel, but I think it was the last, like, when we played this last. Maybe 2014? I'm not sure, but it was a long fucking time ago. We were playing uh, Mario Land 2 uh, on here, and you came into that with us after we did Mario Land 1. Which uh, took, like, a minute to do. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and uh, we're back. We swore that we would play this. So, a decade later, almost, and, uh, you know, tears and jeers and good memories and everything later... Uh, we're back to finally fucking play it. Dude, I love this game. I actually just played through this over Christmas, uh, like, because I have an analog, uh, and was playing through it, and I, this game is so good. It's like, I would argue, one of the best-looking Game Boy games. Like, by this point, the spread, everything is like, they, like, know how to do it. Everything is, like, so big and expressive. Oh, and they get weird, like all the Mario Land games have been, but, like... Plus the Wario Wario, I don't know what the fuck happened with Wario, but I'll tell you this. Wario's like the most creative thing that ever happened in Nintendo. It, it, woke, in, it woke some weird freako bico Nintendo aesthetic and vibe that I think is like, extends to like the system UI of the 3DS. Like there's so much quirkiness and I think that a lot of it can be traced back to things like this, things like Link's Awakening. So Dude, I literally think of like, just go with me on this a little bit. Nintendo is kind of like the Disney of games. Can we like just at a, at a distance, can we agree on that? Yeah. And, but like with Link's Awakening, because they like made it after hours, like they get to go like a little bit wacky sometimes in ways that like Disney doesn't but like yeah and you get stuff like this where they make great games nice buttoned up and you know that like every now and then they just like to let their little like wacky brains just like it's so fun let's do insane things it's so funny WarioWare is like one of my favorite games ever made I'm I'm like I'm just I'm just hyped to be here I'm hyped to play some some Wario let's just get to it go for it it's ready it's yours it like this. however you'd like we're in there. Oh my gosh. Nice fresh file. <laughs> Squeaky clean. Yeah. Stuff like this makes me happy as a long time viewer. Love to see it. Thank you so much. Alec looks like a big mood today. Oh, this is people finally uh, seeing that I don't like dress like my headshot every day of my life. What is your headshot? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably me like with sunglasses on and a Hawaiian shirt like on a beach. Like. The funny thing is that this is just same vibe but different, I guess. Like, if you know, if you know, shirt. you know. Yeah, if you know, you know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we out here. There is some little input bit put lag. A little bit. Is that just like 
That's just uh, emulation, my friend. Oh my god. All right. Well, you know what? Luckily, this game is not like a no. You'll figure it brutally out. Brutally challenging one. Action button. Happy 10th anniversary. Don't feel old. I feel happy that it lasted this long. Thank you to all the good times, guys. I appreciate that. Thank you, Ian. Lonely Goomba. Game Boy games in general felt less less restricted. That's true. They kind of had like a sort of like homebrew feel to them a lot of the time. And you get so, so such creative stuff because it's so low, uh, low commitment to make it. Yeah, it's great. Uh, do you believe Wario is in my 64... <laughs> as a creepy boss, says Crystal Seeker. In uh, what game? Do you believe that Wario is in my Mario 64? I uh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, I have fun with that stuff. Uh, all I'm saying is conspiracy. maybe... Conspiracy? We're talking about yeah. conspiracy? All I'm saying is wait till the next certain oh God. N64 guidebook comes out and we'll talk some more what about What does that it. mean? No, nothing. It's what do you know? Nothing. You know. The wizard is mysterious. Uh... The Hawaiian shirt is a given. I have many Hawaiian shirts. Today, I opted for Beard Bros merch because I love you guys. Let me see that. Oh. Spider-Man 15. And the American cardigan because you're just that much of a patriot. It just looks great with this Beard Bros gear. It kind of does all tie together. I love how large Wario in this game is in this game. They should make him big again. Dude, I, I agree. I mean, I think, I think we're really likely to see... They already put Wario Land 3 on Switch. I'm sure this will come out too. I've never played Wario Land 2. I've never beaten this game. I've only played it. I've only like touched it and screwed around with it. Like I've never really like... This one? Yeah, sat and beat it. Dude. This this one is so... How far do we get in the game? When we played this last time? Yeah. Dude, I'm probably not even as far as this. I have no idea. The uh... Did, we, did that ever like release or were, do you guys like wait till we finish? I don't remember what happened with that. I think we did, like, a bonus episode of Mario Land, and then we were like, if you guys want more, we will do it more eventually later. We but, had always intended to yeah. do it as a full thing, and then just, like... Just never happened, you yeah. Know, life, life gets in the way. Uh, that famous Jurassic Park quote. Yeah. Life, uh, is found on the Game Boy. <laughs> always. Uh, unless your uh, save battery died. Yeah. <laughs> in which case, oops. In, in, in which case, it's time to go on. Get Etsy. a GB operator. Yeah. <laughs> save your file. Look, there's actually a lot of solutions. Uh, if you were a Game Boy fan as a kid and like weren't, don't follow it all now. Like, but want to. The in, the things you can do actually kind of in any retro dude era of games. We're in like a it's trivial at this. We're point. in like a B. Utopian retro game society. They like yeah. you can now upgrade the Game Boy camera. You can like get 3D print things to fit other like lenses. Like anything is possible. It's insane. There's no excuse. People are making new great games for the Game Boy, and you can yeah. buy cartridges. And honestly, as long as Nintendo is like not committing to preserving their software, I don't feel super bad about doing whatever I need to to get access to the games. At least for now, you know. I can't believe that like. The pirate employees have to also pay to, like, move on. Yeah, I know. It's it's rough. Any hopes, wants for games on the Game Boy Switch Advance for Switch Nintendo Online, Game Boy Game Boy Advance? I mean, like I say, I would love to see Wario Land uh, 4, which is, like, to me, a masterpiece. Wario Land, is that the GBA one? Yeah. That game is, like... Beautiful. Maybe one of the most beautiful 16-bit games yeah. ever made. I think Wario stop. Land 3 and Wario Land 4 are, like, both, like, 10 out of 10 masterpieces there what's cool about wario land to me the series is it continued the tradition that was there for mario games when i grew up where like each one was like different like yeah you like platformed but like think about mario bros to two to three to world land land to wario like each one is like a little different yeah like wario's like New invincible ideas. in like two or i think it's two maybe three uh, and you just, like, get him hurt in unique ways to puzzle solve. Like, they it's, just, like... It's, like, all about, like, uh, just having the right thing, thinking, exploring, finding stuff, getting treasure is such a different vibe than, like, getting to the end. You know, I don't know. Wario games are pretty good. I can't believe, and I my... I think it's probably because the ga this game, like, you don't run as fast as you do in Mario games. It's, like, why the big sprites aren't a problem, because in some... 
action games, big sprites equals like, you just run to death a lot. Right. But it works great. And because you don't like just kill enemies when you jump on them, they become like a resource and they inter like the world gives you ways to interact with them. It's just like such a fucking tight game. Are we allowed to swear? Uh, yeah, I think. I think it's. Oh, I think enough time has passed. Yes. Jet mode. Oh shit. Yes. Hell hell that yes. Sound. That is incredible. That's us right now. You guys ever as kids like made made your own music with like power up sounds and just like that's like a genre, dude. That was like, like that's like Magfest. ASMR, but in games, but. Oh, like you're you like 10 played, and you don't yeah. even realize that you're doing it? I used to do, I used to connect the sound test up to the cassette player. Dude, this guy is like that dude from the Muppets. Yeah, what did you just find? A secret? secret? Do you know this game that well? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember all, all the secrets, but I had a sneaking suspicion that there was one here. That's awesome. So there's like, you know about the treasures and everything? Uh, I mean, like, I know the basic oh, concept yeah. of the game, right? Uh, well, like, that you're... Stuff is stolen, and you gotta like yeah. get it back. But um, yeah, there's like you get money from or coins from doing this stuff, and there's like gambling stuff at the end. But there's also hidden treasures to find, like mini game type gambling. Yeah, yeah, there's like I mean I feel like since even one technically had like a mini game at the end. Yeah. But you'll see there's like betting. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got a little crazy there. It's like very Wario to me. I also love that his hat is like, the W on his hat is just like Shit. one pixel each. I'm gonna die. Oh, no, I'm fine. Probably missed something, but whatever. This is such an expansive fucking game for Game Boy. Do you, you know about like, that the levels also change? What do you mean they change? You, uh, well, we're gonna get there, so I won't like spoil it, but like notice, take note of how the world is now. We're on the beach. Right. And. There's no water. We're on the sand now. Right. Okay, I see what's happening. I see what you mean. Do you know what the what the cross on the coin is a reference to? Maybe it's just like a a so symbol. You, like yeah, a, you can do okay. like a life game, or I don't do these because I always lose, and you shouldn't gamble, kids. But uh, like you should gamble on Game Boy, dude. I I, I, I this little it's so good. Yeah. Express it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's try the right one. Reach your bucket. Should I pull? Ah. Oh. Okay, well. Dude, 10T uh, right on the dome, dude. Sorry, Shmorio. There we go. Boom. The music in the game is also great. Very true. How much should I get? Okay. Yeah, so there's like that. I don't really mess with these because I always lose. Although I never thought to. Okay, so. See? A through O. There are like treasure pieces that you find and they take up that slot. So funny that it's A through O. It is. Clearly, just not designed for the. As like a kid, English I never, alphabet. I never like yeah. qu questioned why it ended at O. Okay, and then levels with the circle, little circle in, uh, mean that there's like an alternate exit. Oh, oh, dude, it's like Donkey Kong, Mario, Metroid all together. Also, is this not like the cutest little crab guy? I like those little blocks, dude. They look so innocent. These ones? Yeah. Isn't it so? What is it with the blocks? Like, in the first Mario, they're, like, trapped. Oh, hell yes. What is that, a penis? It, yes, it's a penis. Uh, That's no, either a dick or a bong. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Um, aren't, like, the blocks supposed to be, like, people? People? Yeah. They're, like, people of the Mushroom Kingdom, like... At least Wario Land has the balls to, to actually, balls. like... You know what? Let's, like, let's go... Oh, shit. Let's go back to that. These guys are actually good. You can, like, bop them from the side, but I'm going too slow to do it. Hilarious. Everybody's giving me love on my jacket. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I forget that we don't look at each other that much. Okay. Beard Bros have been there all through my 20s, turning 30 this year. Thanks for the great content, boys. You know it. Shoutouts. Thanks Dude, for welcome watching. Welcome to a great decade of your life. If I mean, the 30s. I'm not. I'm sure some people have had bad 30s, but like, so far my 30s have been great. Well, <laughs> touch and go. <laughs> uh, but let's canvas. You know, aside from the last couple months. Ups and downs. It's been, it's ups been good. Yeah. Ups and downs. But it's a different... Strikes it's, and spares. It's a much more peaceful age. I liked my 20s, though. The 20s were good. I All had right. a good time. I, you know, I was doing this. You guys this. remember the tree? The sap? Tree sap from uh, Mario Land 2? Hell yeah. Yo, was that fucking armored armadillo just now? That was... I, I thought it was just a rat. I fucking murdered him. Uh, is this giving me this? Because I 
Eat that. I believe that the person that invented GB and Samus made Wario? Gunpei Yokoi, is that right? Uh... Well, Gunpei Yokoi did the, like, engineering on it. Like, he did software engineering on this? No, I thought... Wasn't he, like, the hardware... He designed the Game Boy. Yeah, yeah I don't... I didn't he know designed, that he, designed. Like... He, he was lead on Metroid. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he had anything to do with this. Go down, or if they kill me. Okay. Do that. Also, shoutouts to all the love for Swinak back. We love you guys. Stay tuned. You know, never say die. Yeah. Uh. Sean says, "Uh, hi, Davis." Hey, Sean. Get up. Gotcha. What? That was for Sean. Who okay. got? <laughs> Is that a you and Sean thing? That's just for me and Sean. I'll be honest, half the jokes I say are just for Sean. Just for Sean. <laughs> it's all for you, Sean. Ah, oh, shitballs. Okay. Uh, I need to come back with you. Jesus. I started watching Beard Bros when I was 18. Now I am 26. Oh! How many years is that? Not it's eight. Wait, eight? It's eight years. So you weren't even there at the beginning, Sean. Oh, shit. Putting him on blast. Look at you, Fairweather fan. Uh, all right. Well, I didn't get the secret exit there, but found y'all in the middle of my twenties, and it's been refreshing. Thirties are better though, and way more fun. I, I gotta be honest. I had a great twenties. I don't think it's like objectively worse than my thirties, but I'm definitely enjoying my thirties in a totally different way than my twenties so far. Twenties, a lot of great times, but twenties were like. Reactive. Yeah, the twenties like are hilarious. Learning. Yeah. Thirties are like, oh, I can exert agency over my life. That's cool. Yeah. Any other bro gonna say hi? I mean, yeah. This, like I say, this stream is one of many that we're gonna be doing uh, for the anniversary. This one, uh, you know, Gerard's currently uh, at GDC. It's fine. Uh, Didn't want to show up. So we're here uh, in in our satellite LA office today. Didn't want to support his brother in faulty pancreas. <laughs> Faulty pancreas. <laughs> oh yeah, then I, then I ride this guy. This uh, this swamp looks like his name is like Glenn. The swamp is oh the swamp. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey, it's Glenn. Hey, it's Glenn the swamp with the with a different face than all the other swamps. What's up? Fourteen to twenty-five for oh me, God. Jesus Christ. Thirteen to twenty-one. Holy crap! Nobody's telling me about this anymore. What? Twenty-one what? That's like, started at 13, now 21, watching Beard Bros. It's just, it's a lot. These guys are absolute dickbags. 20s were awesome, 30s a little meh. No, 30s is your chance to relax and recontextualize your whole life. It's great. Um, I can't, I'm not a parent so I, that I know of, so I can't speak for that, but when you're just on your own, living it, vibes. Although I do miss like 20s with like going to an event and it having like free food and like an open bar was like the most exciting. It's still kind of, I still kind of love when that happens, but it, you know, just doesn't happen that. I mean, I'm, I've like had enough food and things that like now I'm like that asshole who's like, oh, it's a little dry, these carrots. Oh, that dip is. Yeah, now you know. you're, now you've, li you've lived long. Now you want good stuff. Before I just felt like I was a king. Yeah. Here's what's up. I haven't done that in a long time. We're about to go to uh, Wazda next week. Oh my god. It, I, I haven't done anything like this in like several years. I don't know if any of you guys are going to be at there, but it's going to be tight, probably. Yeah, shout outs to anybody who's coming to Wazda. That is the realest shit ever. Also, there are 409 people watching right now simultaneously. That's quite a lot. Oh my gosh. Thanks Game for Boy joining. coming back. Thanks for celebrating with us. This is, uh, you know... The return of the vibe check. We will be doing more of these as time goes on. Hey, don't hey, don't beat yourself up, man. You got this. Dude, 30 years later, this devil is still clowning me. What are you, 30-40% of the way through? What? The game? Just kidding. No, this this one's actually longer. Yeah, but... it's like three or four hours, right? Uh, longer than that. Really? Yeah, it, it goes the distance. There's like, you know, extra worlds, extra levels, and if you want to get everything, like... This is, the, this is like... Mario Land 1 is like, you know what? It's a cool 40 minute playthrough. This is like on board with 2, I think. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Alex, how does it feel to grapple with the ravages of time with Wario? 
I wouldn't be- I would rather- I wouldn't- I would- there's no one I would rather do it with. Let's put it that way. Wario? Wario- Wario is immune to the ravages of time. Wario has the right idea, honestly. I should have been more like Wario in my 20s. Wario I'd probably like be happier now. A little bit more put together Frank Reynolds. Like, yeah, I was too nice in my 20s. I should have been more like Wario. Made w some plays, ba stabbed some backs. Wario is like the kind of person that, like, knows that life is to be lived. Yeah. He, like, lives hard, he plays hard. It's carpe diem for Wario. Nobody is, like, more. Warpe diem. Dude, I, I, like, literally. Don't know how to, like, not get clowned by this particular guy. Okay, you know what? I understand what I have to do. I should be studying. I should have studied. That's what I Everybody feel Everybody like. watching, I apologize for these deaths. It don't, will not happen. Don't do that. I just remembered what I need to do, which is jump on top of the box. Nobody cares how good you are at this game from 30 years ago. But I care because there's a bunch of cool shit, and this level is not, like, the cool level. <laughs> we'll get there. Will we? Here's what's up. I could be struck dead. Here's what's up. This game is about life affirmation, I... but also recognition of the mortality of man. I purposefully did not put an end date to this end time to this stream. So, yeah, you know, I'm I'm here as long as Dude, your enthusiasm you, we carries. We got two you. chewy bars, yeah. six water bottles. I brought some kombucha. Yeah. So I'm getting sauced. Yeah, he's about to get wasted off that shit. Oh my god. My, this this my, lady at the, the guts inside are like, yeah, spring break. This lady at the grocery store would not like let Davis say that there's not enough there's like not really I got a kombucha the... and it was like what was it was it rosé I... yeah it was like rosé or like merlot or like something like that it was like some type of grape it was like some type of grape I can't remember it was chardonnay that's what it was it like broke she like couldn't understand she couldn't understand that a chardonnay grape is not alcoholic and that it's the grape it's the <laughs> fuck you Larry <laughs> it's the process of fermenting the grape that makes it alcoholic she was like, no, but it's it's Chardonnay. And we're like, it's just kombucha. <laughs> okay. Alex, I love your Bender impression. Makes me laugh every time. I I out of respect for John DiMaggio, I can't I can't do that impression. It's so it's that bad. Oh! Shit. oh! Goodbye. Oh. Oh. Those are my chewy bars? No! They're communal chewy bars. And whoever eats the last one replaces them. What flavors are that? Chocolate chip? Yeah. You know what? That's great. I like the... Isn't there like a peanut butter chocolate one? There is one. I, you know, I haven't had... Dude, s'more. S'more is the best chewy bar. I had chewy bars for the first time again, like the other day when me and Kelly were like sitting here eating them. And I don't know if they got worse or what, but they're so weird and like they turn into like... They're not real Legos? food, yeah. you know? They taste but they weird. are kind of fun. If you guys want to get, like, reacquainted with some of your childhood snacks, come to a Warp Zone shoot, have Odom buy the Crafty, because <laughs> you'll get Nutter Butters, you'll get, like, <laughs> those little, like, fruit shoes, the like... Cuties? Yeah. I always... I love when you guys have a shoot, because there's always cuties left over, because nobody wants to eat, like, dude, there's, oranges. There's cuties, or you'll buy, like, a bunch of bananas, and then, like, I love one it. person will eat a banana, and then, uh... The rest is yours. I vibe hard with it. The uh, when we do like gaming in the '90s things, that's when you get. We'll buy like gushers and like that kind of stuff. Uh, Capri that's, Suns. And but it's see, like, that's also tight because now you're like adding some panache to it. Yeah. You're like syncing it up, dude. I almost bought that stupid ass yellow, teal, and pink uh, igloo. Do you see those? No. I think you sent me them. No, you sent me the Star oh, Wars. Oh, because I have the Star Wars one. Yeah. The this dude. this one's not Star Wars. It's like. It looks like the Max from uh, Say by the Bell. It's like, you know, looks yeah. like, it looks like Jazz from uh, the Cups. The Cups called Jazz. The I almost <laughs> was like, do I need a second igloo? Sure, I only use mine like once a month maybe, but do I need another one? Okay, is this... Kel says s'mores are best because the dehydrated marshmallows are crunchy. I get it. I like peanut butter stuff, even Where if it's is crappy. Kelly? She's in chat. Oh, shit. No, what? Dude, Glenn. Dude, Glenn posting up like I, a brick house. I'm so dude. this level is not a tough level. <laughs> I like. Sorry, He's I apologize up. to everybody. I was gonna show you a cool thing. Ah, uh, we're gonna see it, right? We still get to see it. You're right. You're right. Everybody, get comfy. We'll be here. Yo, Alex, I need some suggestions on what to make for breakfast tomorrow. I'm out of ideas. Uh, take a red onion, uh, and pickle it. 
with some seasoned white rice vinegar. Uh, real quick, just throw it in there, slice, like, slice it up thin, throw it in a bowl, leave that there for like 45 minutes, covered. Or, not, I don't even, it doesn't even be covered. Just make sure it's submerged in the, in the vinegar. Then, get some tiny tortillas, get some cheese. Oh my god. Uh, you can't just get that on deck, put some bacon in the pan, uh, chopped it up. Chop up the bacon first, put it in the pan, render out the fat from the bacon. Uh, then you got bacon fat in the pan. Then, you know, wipe it out so it's not a mess. Throw in your tortilla. Put the tortilla bad. down, put some cheese down, put some bacon down, put some of those pickled onions down. Put some more cheese, cover the top. Every 30 seconds, flip the tortilla till it's golden brown. That's delicious. You can't just, like, say that. Yes, I can. Here. And only offer chewies? Like, that's not fair. I have all the this ingredients. This is a circle of hell, isn't it? I have all the ingredients for that, too. I just can't do that at this time. But, like, do that. That's clean. That's a good little breakfast. Or if you want to, yeah, if you want to add some eggs in there, too, you can also scramble up an egg in a little pan and put some scramblies in there with the cheese and the onions. Little scrambinos. Do a little, yeah, a little scrambino Austin breakfast taco kind of vibe. You know? That's a vibe. Mm -hmm.